Okay, I'm back with day four of Art Break. This is Gina, art therapy life coach, among other things, but for today's purposes, art therapy life coach will do. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to come in. Need a sheet of paper and a pencil. Color pencils are optional, markers are optional, and then we will go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab something to put behind my phone to keep it. I have my nephew and one of his friends with me. They're not going to be on camera, but they will be doing this exercise as well. And uh, all right, so. A little bit of review from yesterday if you want to go ahead and just check out the other um, videos from the last three days I will post those links beneath this one at the end of this this um, video so you can check out those particular ones as well but for the last few days we've been doing a little bit of an art therapy exercise I know everybody's kind of cooped up in the house right now you might have kids around and you're kind of running out of ideas as to what to do with your children um, but this is certainly one thing that everybody can do together. So if you do have your kids there with you, grab them. Get them a sheet of paper and a pencil or some markers and have them do this exercise with you. It is perfectly fa uh, family friendly, kid friendly, and um, they may not do it as perfectly as you do. And we're not looking for perfection. I uh, was saying done is better than perfect. We're just looking for for you to just get your creative juices flowing. So here is what we're going to be doing today. Before we get started, what I want you to do is to just kind of get yourself into the present moment. Forget about what happened yesterday. Don't stress about what's going to happen tomorrow because none of us knows what's going to happen tomorrow. So to do that, what we're going to do is just take three deep breaths. So just relax your shoulders. You can place your palms up on your knees if you're sitting down. And just close your eyes and let's just take three deep inhales in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time. Yep, that just helps to kind of bring your energy just right here in this present moment. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And you should have a sheet of paper and a pencil or a pen, marker. If you, if you have a marker, that's fine. But for this um, particular exercise, you don't really need much more than a, a pencil and a piece of paper. However, I will give you suggestions that at the end of it, if you do have markers, uh, colored pencils, that sort of thing, you can kind of jazz up your particular exercise a little bit using that and I'll show you. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do today is going to be a heart based exercise. So the first thing I want you to do is using your pencil, just draw a heart, a nice big heart on your sheet of paper, something that looks like this. You want to give yourself enough space because of the next step that I'm going to tell you to do. Okay, so for now, just draw a nice big heart on your sheet of paper. If you do have more, I have mine outlined in a marker, so if you do um, have markers, it does help to see it a little bit better, but I outlined mine simply to allow you all to be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, so draw a nice big heart on yours. And I have my nephew and his friend who are also doing it here with me as well. So you guys can go ahead and just outline using your marker. Okay. And the next step, I'm going to be talking to these guys at the same time that I'm talking to you. So go ahead and uh, draw your heart. Make it nice and big. Fill up, fill up your sheet if you can. All right. So here's what I have. 
and if you do have a marker you can go ahead and outline or you can wait to do all of the embellishments at the end if you want to embellish it a little bit more and I'll talk about what you can do all right so now that you have your heart drawn the next thing I want you to do is you can flip that over on the back of it I want you to make a list of things that you love list of places that you love to go make list of things that you like to do things you love so, so go ahead and make a list um, you should have quite a nice long list I would think so just make a list of things that you love and I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that and I want you guys to do the same thing so make a list of things that you love you can use this other sheet right here because you're going to need the list to do the next part okay Alright, so go ahead and make a list of things that you love. And I'll tell you some of the things that I made on my list because I've already done mine just to be able to share share that with you. Alright, so maybe you like to play baseball. So put that on your list. Maybe you like to do, um, I, I'll name a couple of things for mine. Uh, martial arts. I love to do martial arts. I haven't done training in a while, but I, I do have a black belt in Taekwondo. So um, that's on my list. I love painting, I love anything creative, um, sculpting, I'm an artist, so uh, yes, definitely art, so that's also on my list, maybe that's on yours as well, so um, go ahead and make a list of things that you, that you love to do, maybe you like walking around in nature, I am definitely a nature girl, um, I see trees and I just like, <gasps> certain trees will just capture my attention, um, I love gardening, so that is definitely on my list as well. And who doesn't like cute cat videos? So that's on my list. So go ahead and make a list of things that you love, love things you love to do, places you love to go. Um, family, that is certainly on my list. And um, I, I know at this point things might be a little bit stressful with everybody being cooped up. So uh, it might be kind of challenging, but that's okay. We love our family. It doesn't matter what, what happens. We love our family, right? Um, the ocean that is on my list maybe you love to go to the beach now might not be a great time to go but it certainly is on my list I, I'm a water girl I love to go to the ocean um, I have yoga and meditation on my list as well because that is something I love to do I, I do meditate every single day and now that everybody's kind of cooped up in one place maybe that is something that we could all learn to do to kind of help to relieve the stress and the anxiety because it certainly does help with that so um i have i do have yoga and meditation on my list teaching i'm a teacher at heart i did teach um, i actually taught in the prison system for i think about seven years and then i also taught at a private school for 11 years so um, and then I worked in different community settings. So teaching, teaching art especially, that's definitely a huge love of mine. Writing is also another love of mine. Did you guys make a list? Keep going. Can you make about, can you think about five things? What about food? What's your favorite food? Maybe you want to put that on your list. Maybe you want to put that on your list too. Favorite foods can go on there. Um, places that you've been that you absolutely love and you've been like over and over you might want to have that on your list cuddling up with your kids this is a perfect time to do that because you're stuck at home maybe you want to just cuddle up with your kids and read a read a good book or make that part of your uh, nightly routine maybe it wasn't part of your routine before because chances are you know everybody was constantly going um, so things were kind of busy and crazy but now that we're all together maybe we can come up with a few more uh, routines that involve getting closer to our children um, tea I love tea herbs essential oils making my own perfumes using essential oils so that's also on my list so um, feel free to share some of the things that you have on your list just place them in the comments below um, and please say hi feel free to say hello I don't um, I don't see any comments or I, I'm hoping I didn't miss any so please feel free to put some in in the comments and um, let me know that you're here um, what else cooking maybe you like cooking baking 
what about video games? I know that kids nowadays, that's like a huge love. So um, if you like playing video games, the Wii, the Wii would be the optimal video game to be playing right now because that has so many different um, activities on there and it make, there are activities that make you get up and actually take part. It's not a sitting down kind of playing where you, only your thumbs are getting the exercise, you know? It's um, the, with the Wii system that makes you get up and, and there are multiple, multiple players, so it's a lot of fun that way. So, hi Michelle. Oh, you were just going to say cooking? See, I love to cook as well. Uh, so um, go ahead, yes, please continue to share some of your, your loves. So once you're finished with your list, music as well. Oh, that is also on my list. Yes, music is also on my list. Um, crystals, I love crystals. I love those shiny rocks, those really pretty color, colorful rocks. So that's on my list as well. Exercise, dance, belly dancing, um, that's another one that's on my list. So once, here's what we're going to do. Once you're finished, I want to check to make sure these guys are finished. Did you, you got your list? No. All right. That's okay, even if you just have three things. All right, so here's what we're going to do with that list. Of do you remember the heart that you just drew? Pets, yes, definitely. We don't have pets here, but I know pets are really dear to anyone who has them. So here's what you're going to do next. So remember the heart that you just What you're going to do is you're going to take that heart. You're going to count up the number of things that you have on your list. If you have 10, 15, 20, however many you have on your list, you are going to divide up your heart into little sections. You can do it like this, how I have it. However you want to do is fine. I'm just giving you options. The other option is you could divide it up into something that looks like a little puzzle, like puzzle pieces. And, and then we're going to talk about that in a little while. It doesn't matter how you divide them up, just as long as you divide up your heart into the amount of items that you have on your list. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple minutes to do that, or maybe um, 20 seconds or so, because you can always continue this off camera, and then you can um, post a picture of it in the comments below. And I would encourage you to do that. Uh, once you're finished, just post an image in the comment section below this video just so we can, you know, it's kind of connecting everyone. All right, so you guys, here's what you're going to do. Just di exactly, just like that. Just divide it up into into the little sections like this, however many you have on your I'm list. writing the date. You're writing the date? Okay, I think today is the 20th, 21st? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Either. All right, so go ahead and uh, just divide that up. Yeah, you can just write your name on it. You don't have to put the date. All right, so now that you have, now that you have your heart divided into the different sections, and remember, if you don't finish it here with me, because I don't think we will, because everyone works at their own pace, you can always finish it up off camera and then just simply post the image below just to share with us what you've done. All right, so once you've done this, once you've divided it up that way, or like I said, you could also do this way, what you're going to do is within each of those little sections, you're going to add one of the items that you wrote on your list. Okay, so you can, you can write the words, I'm going to give you options here. You can write the words in, into the spaces, or you can draw an image that would represent the particular item that you have on your list. So for example, for martial arts, and I haven't done this section yet, but I will complete it off camera and I will post my picture below. Okay, so for martial arts, what I would probably do is just draw in a black belt. Since I do have a black belt in Taekwondo, I would draw a, a black belt in there. Under, for painting, sculpting, art, I may do um, like a palette, draw a palette with different sp spots of color on there and a paintbrush beside it. Or if you're, if you, you're not that crafty, 
then you can simply just write in the words. Either way is fine. Or you can do the words and pictures. You can even cut pictures out of a magazine and glue into the spot. There are so many different ways that you can work with this, okay? No right or wrong way. That's every, you do this according to how you're feeling called to do it. All right, so for tea, maybe I would put a simple tea bag or maybe a cup with a little bit of steam coming up to represent the tea. For music, I could do some musical notes and that would, that would represent the music, I'm trying to think. For yoga, meditation, I would definitely write in the, uh, the words yoga and meditation because mm, I don't think I would do um, justice to a particular image um, relating to meditation like a little stick figure sitting in the lotus position. Um, under writing, I would most likely just put in the word writing. So you kind of get the, the idea of what we're going for. This is basically going to be a snapshot of things that you love and things that you love and things that you love. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. You guys... Good. Now you can use you can use colored pencils. Um, you can use oh here's another here's another idea. I these are let's turn it the right way. These are watercolor brushes in in a pen form that I found at Michael's a while back, and uh, it's literally filled with watercolor that you can paint with. They're 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 paint brushes, but they're already filled with the, the, the paint. And what I'm going to do is I will go through and I will add some of that onto my work. So that is what I want you all to do. And I'm encouraging you to go ahead and complete it and just simply post it in, in the comments below this video and share with us what you've done. So, um, Give me an idea if you enjoy this sort of thing or do you want me to talk about other things in addition to doing this art break because like I said I also um, I do essential oils I work with essential oils I'm making perfumes as well as um, you know now with this day and age I always have like a an herbal germex form formulation I also do lots of different teas that are um, have lots of lots of benefits so if you'd like me to add in a portion yesterday I did that I added in um, the essential oils and the tea but it's kind of a, um, a long video where if I do all of that every single day so in some days I may just do the, the mini art break like we're doing today and then some days maybe talk about just a tea just a, an essential oil perfume or a combination of those so just let me know and I will go from there so Again, please share with us, and I'm going to go ahead and finish mine off camera and just share with us the completed um, work just by posting a comment in the comment section below this video. And what I'll also do is I'll share the links from days one, two, and three in the comments below this video so that if you feel called to do those, you can as well. Thank you so much for taking this art break with me today, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow or whenever you um, are called to come and visit right thank you so much